Semeket, High Priest of Horus, forewarned that he who rules the, the Amulet shall have released said. He who walked abroad in the jackal with the dawn of man shall once again violate the earth. This is a creepy scene watching it as a kid though. My trusty companion returns. The amulet woman! Once called forth, shall the heavens split asunder, and the light of the sun god Horus banish the lord of darkness, set. Well, Daypax man, you could set yourself on fire in this game. That's actually really easy to do. I wouldn't advise it. Oh. It was a pretty combat heavy level. Oh, you got the car anyway. of Egypt as, as the, that same portrayal of Set. Uh, he's known as an evil god. He just casually strolls over there. Get the keys to the Jeep. They actually patiently wait for you to get to the Jeep, though. They won't take off without you until you get in the Jeep and they randomly disappear. But you know what? I'm gonna just... That's the accelerator button. This is a really fun stage, but it's also really easy to die to the point that I'm actually gonna save right now. I know how easy it can happen. I used to have the stage memorized, but I don't anymore. So don't be surprised if I fall in a hole and die. But uh, we're gonna give it a shot. You can actually usually hit that guy, but I missed it that time. Oh well. Oh god, help. Uh, how many large ones do I have? Six? Yeah, you 
Das muss ich passen. Usually I go over this land bridge because making that jump is actually really finicky. Be careful there, because if you fall down, I'm pretty sure you'll, you'll just die. Uh, really, any falls in this stage in the jeep are are, are insta death. The, the jeep will actually explode. Uh, so yeah, I want to keep that in mind. Okay, next part of the stage. Actually start lobbing grenades at you, so you have to watch out for. Ow! That. Well, that one didn't do any damage to me, which is odd. Knock him to the bridge, and that guy won't die though, which always drove me crazy. You can knock him down, but he will not die. He'll just stand there and keep shooting at you as if nothing happened. I don't remember how to get out of the car. It's a very least serious problem. There we go. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Just get out. I'm getting shot at, Laura. There. All right. You have to. For some reason, they decided to put in a random uh, platforming segment in this stage just to, because to break up the fun. See, we're having fun. Now all of a sudden, it's like, oh yeah. Quick, that's platform. If you really want to do that. I know it's you know, a big part of the game, it's like the main part of the game, but I'm still like. I don't know why you would break up a level like this with a random platforming segment for basically no reason at all, other than just because. Maybe they were trying to mix it up, I'm not sure. Uh, but I always felt this. I always actually hated this part because I had to get out of the car and stop and then look around. I'm not even sure how they shut the stupid gate, because, like, I guess I guess one of like, their foot soldiers on the ground is, but how many people are under uh, Werner's employment? How much is he paying them? Because he's got a lot of fucking henchmen. Like, a lot of henchmen. Granted, I could have asked the same question about, like, any movie villain. Like, especially Amanda in uh, Legend of Underworld, because, oh my god. How many mercenaries do you need, girl? You know, that's, that was kind of my reaction to the whole thing. Oh, good. That replaces the two medpacks just to use. If you look, especially early in the game, uh, medpacks are uh, very prevalent. So you shouldn't have to worry about dying unless you completely miss shit. Uh... Well, I guess I, this is total spoilers right now, and I'll, I'll just warn you now. But uh, he's possessed in this game is the problem. Uh, it's he's at first you think he's just being a dick, but later you real you find out he's actually possessed, uh, which is why uh, he is being a dick. <laughs> The people I'm pursuing are probably way ahead of me because that took, you know, like five minutes of me just being stopped. But you never know. It might be just around the corner. Oh, God! And there they are! Apparently they, they waited for me. That was really polite of them. Also, where did they get those giant spike balls? Like, seriously? Were they just, did they just have that in the back of the Jeep? It was like, release the balls! And they're like, what? 
the fuck? Why would they have this? Wait, you actually have to be really, really careful here? Because there are totally pitfalls in the floor that if you are not ready for, will kill you. Straight up. Like that one! <sighs> yep. Oh god, I have to do that fucking jumping puzzle all over again. Save frequently, save often. You won't have to repeat parts of the game you just played. I still don't know how to get out of the car, by the way. I did not figure that out. Okay, it's so. That. Fair enough. Shoot him! Christ, woman. Uh, it's action left. It's it's two buttons apparently. That seems to be that seems to work. So it's very strange. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, <laughs> no, Daypax. It's the PC version with a mod. That's a good question. Why is the gate lever so far off the ground? Like someone has to climb up there and and, get, and jump up it, up there every time they want to open the gate. Like that's it, it. Just seems extraordinarily inconvenient. Oh, and we're gonna save right fucking now. you should follow its path however they drive like right by the pitfalls so it's actually far more far safer to not follow exactly where they're driving and go off a little bit to the side or something uh, just because they will actually lead you past the death uh, where you can avoid it entirely if you go not where they went as I just did watch out lizard Lara fucking Croft is on the way! Come on, 
guy with the handguns is like, fuck it. I just give a fuck about that missile launcher. I also wonder what she told the boat captain after she just jumped, made that jump. Like, oh, what was her story? Like, I was running late. Like, Jesus. Fools! The Croft woman has outsmarted you, yeah? And now she escapes. Outsmarted? The amulet. She blew them the Heaven fuck cry. off. It talks of the priest, Semerket. Semerket. Jean-Yves, my faithful friend. I fear this is not a social visit. I Only see, can you see how friends I am? Oh, I can't do it French. Von Croy. Terrible. Uh, I think he was looking for this. The amulet of Horus. An almost legendary artifact. Legendary. So, you have found and opened the tomb of Set. This doesn't bode well. Translating from the Hebrew, he who removes the amulet shall once more release the dark power of Set and Set Sayeth. I am the shadow across the sun. And I am the bringer of plagues. And My wrath Satan will and consume all lands and shall be ceaseless. Really, I the probably should have read this to you before you went looking for it. The evil set shall only be revealed to the bearer of the amulet within the temple of Seneket at Karnak. The ceremony is complete as the armor of Horus summons the sun god. The armor of Horus. At the dig site in Alexandria, my men talk fearfully of this. The armor must also be von Croy's goal. Only one so ignorant of the prophecies would double with such a prehistoric evil. Ah, yes. Releasing set. But how could you have known, my dear? By asking you... Time to put you. things right and remove a thorn in my side in the process. I... Didn't she do? She did like n apparently no research prior to going there, which I didn't even think about any other time I ever played the game. But now I'm thinking about it, like, why would she not know? Like, didn't she check? Oh God! You hit the fucking brakes! Your jeep no longer works after this point, probably because she hit it, ran it into a fucking rock. Wall like an idiot. 